Now we'll do another example from Chinese remainder theorem. So again, the uh, denominator you see is nothing but 26, and you have to find the remainder of 17 raised to 598 mod 26. Now, as we explained in the previous video, what we will do is that we will split 26 as 13 and 2. So we will just split this into two different parts. So let these two different different parts be represented like this. So 17 raised to 598 mod 2 will be the first part, and 17 raised to 598 mod 13 will be the second part. Now 17 raised to 598 mod 2 is nothing but 16 plus 1 raised to 598 mod 2. If you split this as 16 plus 1, then every term of this exp uh, of the expansion of 16 plus 1 raised to 598 will contain 16 and is hence divided by 2, except the last term which will be 1 raised to 598. Now because the term is 1 raised to 598, which is effectively 1, uh, when it is divided by 2, it will give a remainder of 1. So this entire expression when divided by 2, you can do it orally as well. It will be in the form of 2a plus 1. So you have to just keep it like this for the moment. Uh, now coming to the second part, 17 raised to 598 mod 13. So what happens here is that, uh, if we see, the Euler uh, coefficient of 13 is nothing but 12 because it's a prime number and so p minus 1 will be 12 and so 17 raised to anything which is in the form of 12k, uh, it will always give a remainder of 1. So now if you see carefully, 598 is nothing but 588 plus 10. Now 588 is divisible by 12 and so the re remaining part is nothing but 10. Also if you see carefully, 17 can be split as 13 plus 4. So we will split this as 13 plus 4 and we will split this as 588 plus 10. So these two things you have to do right at the start. So to, show, uh, to make this smaller, you will use binomial expansion. To make this smaller, you will use uh, Euler coefficient. Now what we get is, if 13 plus 4, all 13s will be uh, crossed out except the last part which is 4. And till 588 we are safe, so we are left with 4 raised to 10. Now this becomes 4 raised to 10 mod 13. Now there are a lot of ways to do this. You can simply do 4 raised to 2, that is nothing but 16, mod 3 will give you 2. And so the every entire thing will become uh, two raised to uh, the entire thing will become two raised to five, which is thirty-two mod thirteen and so on. So that is one way which, uh, in which you can do. Or maybe what you can do is four raised to ten will become two raised to twenty. Two raised to twenty mod thirteen because four is nothing but two square. So two raised to twenty mod thirteen. Uh, again thirteen the Euler coefficient is nothing but twelve. So two raised to twelve uh, gets cancelled out, and we are left with two raised to eight. Now we know as a as a uh, Matter of fact that 2 raised to 8 is nothing but 256. So now we are left with 256 mod 13. Now 256 mod 13 is nothing but 4 short of 260 which will give remainder as 9. So even if you do it in the conventional way, you will get the remainder to be 9. Now here the remainder is 1, here the remainder is 9. So this is nothing but 13b plus 9. This is the second part of the equation. Now the simplest thing uh, remains that is you have to equate 2a plus 1 equal to 13b plus 9. So 2a plus 1 is equal to 13b plus 9. Now, many a time people make a small mistake here. Now what happens here is that if 2a plus 1 is equal to 13b plus 9, which essentially means that 2a is equal to 13b plus 8. Right? Now what people tend to do is people will tend to put 1 here and then they will try to figure out what the, you know, what the value of b will be and so on. So uh, what we can do here is that we know that 8 when divided by 2 will give remainder of 0. So 13 given divided by 2 should also give a remainder of 0 for this RHS to satisfy uh, the integral value of a. So what happens here is that if a is already giving you a value of 0, then we can simply take b to be 0 as well. If we take b as 0, we get a as 4. If a equal to 4 and b equal to 0, these values satisfy this equation, then we can plug this back into these numbers and we can simply say that the remainder will be nothing but 9. And that will be your answer. So what happens here is that, Many a time people forget that b equal to 0 can also be a solution and they tend to do it uh, say for b equal to 1. If b is equal to 1 then RHS will become 21 which is not divisible by 2. If b is equal to 2 then RHS will become 26 plus a that is 34 and so a will be 17. Even if you get 17, even if you plug back 17 here, the answer is not 35 because 35 will be again divided by 26 and so your remainder will always be 9. But if uh, one of the options says that it's 35 or something, then you might write 35. But then any then if 35 is divided by 26, then the remainder will be again 9. 35 is not the lowest number. So to a uh, so the lowest value of a and b that satisfies this equation has to be considered, and that has to be plugged back into this equation, and then we get 9 as the answer.